basically this old man, older man touched my booty today. <laughs> basically, all in all, he touched my butt on purpose. That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you L O L when you click play? No, nah, this ain't no clickbait. What's up, y'all? Hey, guys, it's Steph. And Tasha, we'll be back with another video. Before we get into it, I want to ask you guys to please thumbs the video up if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe if you are new here. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the family. If you've been here before, welcome back. Baby, tell them what we're doing. Today, you guys, we are doing a barbecue mukbang, and we have a viewer topic. Oh, okay. yeah, I don't know about that, but okay, yeah. Let's get into the video. So, you guys, what we have today, baby? What we have today are some barbecue from this place called Holy Barbecue in Santa Monica. We have greens, brisket, <laughs> smoked wings, a chicken, just a piece of chicken, y'all, just literally a piece of chicken. Greens, potato salad. Wanna taste it? Stephanie doctored it up. Beans, iceberg lettuce. That's what I'm gonna call it. I'm not calling this a salad. That's a salad, y'all. And beans. Yeah, so Yon. Tasha needed to do low carb because she's doing yeah, that I'm not right doing now. That. I'm not doing it. Y'all, I'm about to be 50 pounds like. No, I'm not 50. Attempting to eat better so that's why i got this random ass piece of non-skin chicken oh i got here. i got these cucumbers too that i had a couple left so yeah i know i'm not eating that i wanted uh macaroni and cheese so bad mm. it took everything out of me not to get that <laughs> be glad you didn't mm. Mm -hmm. and i got bone broth y'all mm. mm. so for my um barbecue sauce, I'm glad they don't put barbecue sauce on it. I'm using I'm using a sugar-free barbecue sauce, and I'm using a steak sauce that only has. It's kind of fat. Mm. And I'm using a sugar-full barbecue sauce. Yes. Mm. I already mm. tasted the brisket when I was preparing the presentation. Mm. It's good. Mm. No, the brisket mm. is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. This sauce, bomb. That's the um, not the unsweetened. Oh, uh, this is um, a one. Oh, okay. I have five carbs per tablespoon, and this is um, it's about a tablespoon, maybe a little bit over, but I haven't had any today. So, what are these? What's this sauce? I think I that's, that's Carolina. Mustard. I'm not mm, sure. Interesting. Tastes like somebody's underarm. Mmm. But you know, I like that flavor. Mmm. 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 What's I do with them greens? Hot sauces. Just covered up with hot sauce. Mmm. <laughs> mm -mm. These greens look like they went through somebody. Taste like they went through somebody's colon. Sorry. Sorry, babe. Mmm. Well, let me try this barbecue sauce. This brisket is soft. Mmm. -hmm. Mm, that that brisket, of course, is the best part. The best of everything? Mmm. -hmm. Oh, something I can't eat, y'all. You know. That sucks. Mmm. Yeah. It's barbecue sauce. The wings have dry rub. Mmm. 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 -hmm. If you eat this beef and then you use, we have enzymes. This Take that. Piece of wing. Or you could put enzymes on this. Mm -hmm. That's what I meant to do. Before eating it, or you could just take a probiotic. No, I'm not best around the beef right now. Mm. I'm just gonna take a probiotic after I eat this, y'all. It helps with um, digesting beef. Excuse me, I'm spitting everywhere. Are you supposed to take it before or after? I thought it was before. <sighs> with? But I'm assuming. Whatever. Oh, would you take it immediately after? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Who does that? Nobody, probably. No, well, there's a lot of people that. I know I'm about to do it, but I knew somebody who did it all the time and it worked. Yeah, I think it does. I don't even like these greens, but I'm gonna eat them because I feel like that's gonna help with the digestion. Guess I'll act like I'm gonna eat some of this ten dollar salad. <laughs> Y'all know I pay ten dollars for a salad with some damn iceberg left. I should have read the um board because they were on for this. Stuff. They did say what it was. I just didn't read it. So my bad. Y'all want a cucumber? I know y'all be saying y'all want cucumbers. The only thing nice about this salad is that 
They have homemade croutons, which are the best. I'm sorry, homemade <coughs> croutons oh. are so loud. Hmm. Guess what? Y'all, Elijah, which I was surprised about, said that he would be willing to do a video with Sasha. I was shocked too. Yeah. That's gonna be funny. Uh-huh. That's good. I don't know why I always want to eat this part of the chicken. Just greed, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. But I don't think my teeth are strong enough. Didn't you say your dad eats this? country shit. <sighs> Y'all. My dad be tearing bones up. So I met this man today. No, that's too much. I'll tell him on a story time or something. It wasn't that much, but... Basically, this old, older man touched my booty today. <laughs> Basically, all in all, he touched my butt on purpose. I know he did. He was talking to me and he put his hand on my waist. Normally, I won't let a person, I don't want to put A1 sauce on a chicken. I won't let a person, specifically a man, touch me. You know, but an older man, I ain't really tripping. So he was talking to me, put his hand on my waist. And I was a little uncomfortable, but I didn't say nothing. I'm like, whatever, he old man, that's fine. Mm -mm. He did it again and then touched my booty a little bit with his thumb. I was like, yeah, you. I was like, I don't like being touched, sir. <laughs> conversation over. I was just on the promenade talking to him, you know, having a regular conversation. He was very talented as far as his music is concerned, but mm -mm, don't touch my booty, thanks. Was he singing? Mm-mm. Oh. Mm -mm. He did ask me for some money, though. Mm. Are you serious? Yeah. Did he look like he had a hat at home? Um, not really. Oh, okay. He said his wallet got stolen on the train. Oh, okay. But, um, who knows? All right, I'm about to read the topic. If you want to send us a topic, send it to Steph and Tasha on Instagram. We have quite a few that we've gotten lately, so we're going to be getting to those. All right, all right, all right. All right. It's kind of long, so I'm going to try to hurry up. I've been with my child's father since we were 15 years old. We are now 27 and we have a seven year old daughter. daughter. Through our ups and downs, we have been through it all, but we always end up back together. Up until now, he's oh. been the primary breadwinner and that's been an issue in the past. We struggled so much, much with so little help from family. Okay. We would get into fights about how we needed help and we get evicted from place to place. Just okay. recently, he's been laid off from work and now is unemployed. Okay. I have a decent job now and I'm paying most of the bills, which I don't mind, but I notice it's affecting him in the bedroom. Um, I feel like we aren't romantic anymore and it's never been super romantic, but I thought as we got older, it would grow in that direction. Everything is cool between us on a friend level. We talk and our friendship has actually grown, but the in intimacy is gone. Mm. We are intimate maybe once a month and that's it. I've tried to do everything from dressing sexy, making sure my hair, hair stays done, making sure I smell good. And he compliments me, but that's as far as it goes. <laughs> I even take this man to I even I've even taken this man to Vegas for his birthday, paid for flights and everything. Girl, she was like, let me try to pay for some <laughs> for my husband. Or boyfriend. Is it boyfriend or husband? It don't matter. They've been together a long time. Right, enough. yeah, I'm pretty much the same thing. Okay. Shit. Wait, and even okay. And even in Vegas, it was like I had to force him to have sex with me. I don't know what to do anymore. Anytime I'm at home. But anytime I initiate it at home, he makes an excuse of being tired or something. He never initiates anymore. And he says he's just not in the mood. It's to the point where I ask him what I can do and he says nothing. I understand he's not in the mood, but I have needs as a grown woman. When I try to have a civil conversation, he literally gets mad and basically, basically says he doesn't want to do this anymore. She said this in quotes. And when I ask him the relationship or have sex, he says nothing and we end up not talking for the rest of the night. Then the next day he's normal as if nothing happened. I'm going crazy and I honestly am ready to leave because sex is important to me. This is weird to me because sex has never been an issue for us. Even on bad terms, we would still have it. Should I stay or leave? Shit. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. 
Should I stay or should I go? Mm -hmm. You gonna make up a song? No, it's a song. Oh. People know that. Okay. Mm. <sighs> well. Mm. Mm. My opinion. Mm, I don't know. I can't really say unless I know why he's not doing it. That's true. If he feels like, I mean, there's so many different things. He can, um, let's say he's really just actually tired. He's unemployed though. He'll have a job. Oh, he didn't say tired. Yeah, he he said not in the mood. <laughs> he cannot be in the mood and not ever be in the mood. Um, is he taking any medication? Is he maybe not attracted to you, but doesn't want to say it? Um, That's horrible. Does, if he was so used to being um, the breadwinner and now he's unemployed, but he, and he doesn't want to be unemployed, he could be depressed. Um, depression will cause um, mm -hmm. um, low sex drive. The low sex drive. Mm -hmm. um, medication will cause it. Um, not being attracted to the person will cause it. Um, if you guys argue and fight and then, I mean, you said, well, you used to be on bad terms and you still have sex, but I right. know that sometimes, um, people, if they're arguing and fighting or if they have a disagreement or they feel some kind of way about their partner, you won't be, um, you won't want to sleep with them. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so many different things it could be. <clears throat> she said, okay, so she said they never had an issue with sex, but she also said their, their relationship has never been super romantic. Mm -hmm. Okay. But they still have sex, right? So it has right. to be, I think it has to be the job thing. Maybe he's depressed because I think a lot of men want to be the breadwinner. Yeah. They don't want to sit at home and have their wife taken care of. It makes them feel like less than a man. Mm -hmm. So that could be the issue mm -hmm. for him. But I think he should talk to you about it. You know what I'm saying? He uh, he obviously does not want to. Yeah. Which probably is probably going to make him feel like he don't want her to know he feels like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He wants her to feel like he's strong. You know? So he probably doesn't want to say, hey, I feel like less than a man because I'm not working. You know what I'm saying? Um, but how do you handle that? And what, How are you supposed to handle it? You know? Mm -hmm. How long do you keep putting up with this when you want to talk? You need to know something. You want sex. That's the thing. It's like, are you done? Only you know that, you know? Yeah. Only you, you know when you're done. I know that if I felt like there was never going to be any sex in my relationship ever again, I'd probably be done. Because I like sex, y'all. And I wouldn't want to cheat. That would mean I would never have sex again. And it, like, if you're the one that's always initiating, you're still missing a lot. Even if the person gives in and does it, you're still missing being wanted and desired. Desired. So, no matter what, she's still going to be wanting something else. She's yeah. still going to be wanting that type of attention from the person that she wants to be with. Yeah. I don't know. I would try to talk to him and let him know that I need you to talk to me. We need to figure this out. If you want us to work, be together, we need to work on this. If you don't give a damn, we can end it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Period. Uh, I you got to look out for your, for your own happiness. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. No, it's okay. I, I think that some people just can never and will never. Um, some people cannot and will not communicate. Yeah. And I've heard you guys um, from you guys um, that men, it seems like men have the biggest problem with communication um, when it comes to their real feelings about things I feel like it's hard for them to talk about you know anything especially if it's gonna make him appear weak mm -hmm. if he feels like he you know he feels bad he might not even know he's depressed if he is depressed but he yeah, may be he it may sounds not. like he would be depressed if you would think about it because you're saying that he used to have all this money or he used to be the breadwinner mm -hmm. and, and now he's not, he doesn't even have a job he probably feels really bad 
and he's probably depressed probably doesn't even know you can't continue to let him um you could do whatever you want but i'm saying uh, for that being your husband i i would i would say try to um help him get another job maybe he feels like he can't get another job he's not good enough because that was the job he had for so long and you know what i don't really know what the whole mm -hmm. situation is but sometimes people just need a little time like there was a point where i was um fired <clears throat> from a job and i took a while to get out of the low place i was at mm. you know okay because you had been there i would for say a while, like too. six months mm -hmm. I don't think I was, my sex drive was high, you know, I was, I, I was in a bad place, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, I was like, damn, really? After all this work I done put in, you gonna, <clears throat> really, whatever. So, I mean, but you gotta, you gotta put yourself out of that. You can't let that ruin your whole life. Yeah, and then it being him, that's, you gonna let his thing ruin your whole life, I mean, for how long, yeah. you know? So. I definitely feel like you need to talk to him, because you over here talking to us. So you definitely need to talk to him and see if you can get something. You need to keep, I mean, and it's, it probably is. Look, 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 let me tell you something. Like, if I have a problem that I don't want to communicate, um, if I'm badgered about it over and over and over again, and it's something that's really bothering me, there may be a certain way that I need to be asked. Okay. But at some point, I may be able to divulge that information. Even if he can uh, seek out therapy and maybe talk, say all these things to the therapist, and sometimes, I feel like sometimes just getting stuff out is, um, is, is therapeutic because mm -hmm. you may not always get the response that you need when you say it to the person because people are defensive naturally and then you're defensive. So if you say something, if he says something to you and you're defensive about it, which if it's personal, then you're probably going to be defensive because you're a human being. Then he's gonna get defensive and then he's gonna shut down and say, you know what, I ain't never gonna talk to her again. So say for instance, if he if he, if it's because it's not because he's depressed, but it's because he's not attracted to you, or whatever reason, something like that. <laughs> then um I hope it's not that. <laughs> then um I don't know. What do you do in that situation? What do you do with the person if I wasn't to? having sex with you anymore and I said, you know what, the reason is I'm not attracted to you anymore physically, what do you think what should be the outcome of that? Uh, I don't know. Would you want to break up? Or would you want to if try you told to me become you attracted, attracted to, me? to me anymore? Or would you want to be, try to become attractive to me again? Uh, if you told me that, I would automatically be like, F U B <laughs> and I would want to leave. Damn. That's why you can't tell people those things. There, you can't well, tell them the truth. I think you should say it. Yeah, that's true. If y'all have any advice for her, please put it in the comments. We did our best. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say it, talk to your yeah, husband. I think talk to him too. Um, and consider his, that he might be depressed and just is not telling you. Thumbs the video up if you guys like it. Oh, Comment. It up. Subscribe. Share. No, you trying to make me do it. And uh, we have a vlog channel, Step and Tasha Vlog. Link is in the description below. Set your notifications to also be reminded of early uploads, live streams, Ooh, premieres. Of ugly uploads. <laughs> I meant daily. <laughs> early uploads. And until next time, only good vibes. Peace.